So a dependency on the set best friend is that whatever name that we are trying to set as best friend, it should already be added as a friend before. And not only that, we cannot set best friend again and again. And how do we cater to all such needs? This is what I really want to look in candidates, how they can fine tune or use the powers of OOPs and programming concepts and the programming language to meet all such scenarios and write code in such a beautiful way that the developers are not making mistakes. I feel the real winners are those who generate clarity and actually can convert their thinking into code and also come up with the necessary classes with appropriate OOPs concepts so that the code becomes robust, easy to extend to new features and close to modifications. Before you proceed with this video, I would highly, highly recommend not to even skip a part of this video, not even a fraction of a second. Otherwise, you will be lost in the end and in the starting it might look like it's really easy what we are doing but the real fruit comes to the end. So stick to this video, watch it completely. These are a subset of the famous solid principles and I feel to be a good software engineer, a good knowledge of design patterns and coming up with the right structure of classes is a must. Hello, my name is Rachid Jain and I am a software engineer at Microsoft. I am an electrical engineer from IIT Roorkee and love to keep my IQ sharp. I'm also a big fan of problem solving and writing code the object oriented way. So let's say we have asked someone to create a person class for us so that the clients can um, create objects of person and maybe then say hello. So uh, I want that people should be able to use this class in such a way that um, they can say hello and do things like that. Um, so yeah, that's the overall intent. and. To do that, we, what we can do is we can simply create a class. Um, maybe we call that class as person. So now we have the person class ready. We can we have two private strings and we can set their values and then we can say hello. All right. So the experience will be something like p dot set first name um, and then we can pass in something over here and then we can have set last name. Okay, that that's good enough for me and we are saying hello. Good, awesome. But the problem over here that I feel is that what if the user does not do this? So what if I comment this and I say hello? Now this is not good. And maybe if the names are empty, uh, the say hello function throws some exception. So of course I don't want such uh, mistakes to be made when people are using my class. And as a developer of this particular class, I feel that I can do better. So how can I ensure that people are first setting the first name and then setting the last name and only then calling hello. So this is one of the problem that I'm seeing over here. And um, another is that even if I do set these values over here and let's say over here I set this as Rachit and then over here I set this as Jan, I can maybe again set the first name over here to something else. And now once my person P was created, I really don't like such capabilities where I'm again changing the name to something else. It really does not make sense to change the name of a person again and again. It might be the business scenario where such functionality should be there, but in my case, I feel it's not there. And how can I use programming language and its concepts to meet those needs? So one way of that is to wrap all this in a constructor because we want that once an object is created of a person, it should be in a valid state, right? So we can have first name and awesome. So now we can remove these setters that we were having over here and our class is now looking really good. Um, it's really small and now we can say hello. So now of course this won't work. It's throwing error and let's fix this by passing the first name like this and the last name like this. So awesome. Now I can say hello like in a really great way and I know that if I am having some object of my class person, it's in a valid state. So this is something that you should keep in mind. If an object of a class is getting created, it should be in a valid state. So the functions which have some prerequisites to be executed properly, that should be passed into the constructor. All right. Uh, so when I'm having an object of some class, I really want uh, the developers not to worry about calling functions on it. They, uh, I, uh, what I want to do is that the object should be created in such a fashion that if it exists, if an object is created, it's in a valid state. And that, and thanks to parameterized constructors to help us over here, right? Awesome. But uh, another issue over here can be like, what if this class keeps on growing? So let's say we are having a list of string wherein a person can have a lot of friends as well. 
and now we will also be forced to pass a list of string over here so now this constructor is like really getting huge and maybe over the period of time it will keep on growing and now that's something i really don't like and a person might or might not have friends so i can have some other functions for the person wherein i am setting these values so and awesome so now i have a list of friends whenever i want to add a friend i can do that of course this function needs to be public so that people can add friends and then people can also set a best friend so a dependency on the set best friend is that whatever name that we are trying to set as best friend it should already be added as a friend before and not only that we cannot set best friend again and again and how do we cater to all such needs and this is what i really want to look in candidates how they can fine tune or use the powers of oops and programming concepts and the programming language to meet all such scenarios and write code in such a beautiful way that the developers are not making mistakes so over here of course we can set best friend multiple times it will override we can also do the mistake of not adding any friend and simply calling set best friend so how how do i solve this is something what we are looking forward to now so since the construction of this person object is getting like really uh, uh, really difficult or complex what we can do is we can have a person builder and that class responsibility is nothing but to um, take on all the parameters of this person and then finally call the build function on that and that will give us the final person object so what i mean by that is is nothing but it will have um, the same structure something like this um and then we can have a public function that returns person and the function name is build and this is responsible for generating the person so the last name while we were setting the best friend over here what we can do is nothing but if that it's not a valid argument of course it needs to be added as a friend before you try to set it as best friend and if that's already passed we can set the best friend value to this particular name all right maybe we also need to update the say hello function over here to accommodate all the new information that now we are yeah awesome so now we have a new say hello function um we have a person builder also that that's awesome and uh, i have not completed this so this best friend will simply set the value of best friend to this particular name and the person builder is taking care of checking if it contains over here and then we have the build fun function which people are going to use uh, and the responsibility of this build function is to call the functions in the right fa uh, right fashion so what it will do is nothing but we can have instead of add friend we can have set friends uh, and it can accommodate a list of string of friends and we can simply say friends is equal to friends and yeah so now the person builder can do nothing but um awesome so now the person builder is creating a person setting the friend setting the best friend and returning that so now let's quickly go to the program function and let's see how this is functioning um we can set the properties so builder dot set so of course uh, let's the builder function should have functions like set first name and set last name so that the main function can interact with it so let's quickly add that as well so this should be set all right so now the main function can go and set the particular values that it wants to set and then we get the person object and we can say hello from there awesome now this looks good let's see if this is working awesome so my name is rajit jain my friends are rishabh and pulkit but my best friend is pulkit awesome things look good now the problem over here is that again um there is no way in which we can control the flow of course set best friend can be called initially and of course we can of comment out all these things and we can simply do build dot build and say hello and we are nowhere near to the solution and we have made it so complex so what why are we doing this and it's still not solving so now here is the twist and we are going to solve this problem um going to the person builder class uh, right now it has only four functions so but what can happen in a professional project is that the class can have a lot of functions and it's always too bad for a particular class to know so much thing so that's where we can use the interface segregation principle and what we can do is basically first create a folder and create some interfaces over there so that we can decouple or split up the responsibility of person builder into separate interfaces just bear with me for a moment so now what i have done is i have generated some interfaces in the same file right now just to save time so i have interface first name holder last name holder friends holder um best friend holder and person builder and what i have done is the person builder will inherit from all these interfaces now um let awesome 
so of course we have to implement this interfaces let's quickly delete all this so awesome so now when we are doing set first name what we are going to do is the first name will be storing this value and we are simply returning this and what this allows us to do is that as soon as the user sets the first name it's getting the object person builder casted into a last name holder interface and the last name holder interface is having limited scope it only knows a limited information as you can see over here last name holder only has the function set last name exposed and the and now the people who are using our code uh, who has set first name will be forced to set the last name they won't have access to other functions so let's quickly implement the interface last name holder and over here what we can do is um, set the last name to name and simply return this and the beauty of oops is that since person builder is extending all these interfaces it can be casted to in, uh, types of all these interfaces and that's what we are trying to do we are returning the same object casted into different interfaces which have only limited knowledge which they need and now the person builder can be easily evaluated we know that it's inter it's implementing these interfaces we can simply know the scope of each interface which is easy to absorb because they have limited or a subset of knowledge of what person builder was having initially so it also becomes easy to read okay so uh, let's also implement the iFriends holder and the beauty of iFriends holder is that um, it's having two functions add friend and no more friends to add in add friend we are again returning an interface of iFriends holder so that the person is now also having the capability to add more friends so what we can do is we can do something like friends dot add name and then simply return this and no more friends to add is doing nothing but um, return this and this is returning an interface of i best friends holder so now um, let's also implement the interface of i best friend holder so in i best friend holder we have only function to set a best friend and it takes us to an object of i person builder so again we cast the current object to i person builder and before doing that we also set best friend equal to name of course we also need to do the check so awesome and now we have only one interface left which is i person builder which is as simple as um, where did it go yeah so it's a build and it returns the person finally and what we can do is um, have a person p equal to new person and we pass in the first name that we have received awesome guys so now this looks good and now if you will go to the main function now let's see how is the experience that we are giving to the other people so now what we do is a person builder equal to new person builder and then we can do something like builder dot set first name to Rachit and let's see what happens after that okay let's let me move this to next line for better readability all right now we can do set bam there you go we only have set last name all the other functions have vanished and now the user is forced to set the last name after setting the first name he sets the last name to Jan and he presses dot bam there you go he has a function to add a friend or no more friends to add let's add a couple of friends over here Rishabh and then maybe um, Pulkit and now maybe I don't have any more friends to add and now I press dot bam now I have the functionality to set a best friend let's that be Rishabh and now I press dot and I can do a build and then I can also create awesome guys this is awesome this looks awesome to me let me just quickly run this and see what are the results again as you can see my name is Rachid Jain my friends are Rishabh and Pulkit but the best friend is Rishabh so guys this is the power of oops and the only problem right now over here is that when we are doing builder dot it's giving us the build function the no more front no more friends to add set best friend set so all the we are having all the functions right now because the person builder is in implementing all the interfaces and when we are doing builder dot something uh, 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 we are in a problem so we were really close to the solution but that will only happen when the func uh, when our users know the what is the first function that they have to call so that's set first name 
and how do we solve this problem now because as soon as a person says the first name now we are having that guided experience to our people to our developers so that they don't make mistakes so how do i solve this now all right what i can do over here is um i can make this constructor private for this so let's go to the constructor all right so let's make the constructor as private so that now the main function cannot create object of builder so now we can have a function load which is a public static function and its responsibility is to basically return a new person builder but the good thing is the return type of this will be i first name holder and the thing and the impact of this is when developers are using our code now so now they can't create objects the constructor is private so they what they have to do is nothing but person builder and as soon as they do a dot they have only the load function available to them and as soon as they do that let me go here so as soon as they press dot now bam now they have only set first name and all the other functions are hidden so this is how we completely guided our user for person builder to first load it then set first name last name add friend add friend no more friends to add set best friend then build and then say hello guys i hope you like this video you enjoyed this i really like writing code the object oriented way and it has so much to offer i really feel that interviewers should be asking such questions which was so easy to get started with but it really became difficult and the complete journey from starting to end was so beautiful i think and we beautifully captured so many object oriented concepts and i have this habit of really thinking a lot in creating classes the best way so that we can you know give such experiences to our users so that they make very few mistakes and i really i really love software engineering anyways guys um i regularly upload videos um as you can see i try to guide people what to study how to study what are the important data structures lectures on c++ stl object oriented programming related questions and this is another introduction to object oriented programming and i really hope you liked it let me know in comments what do you think about this and i will see you next time